following program on Ada Verna 24 is classified for general audience. It is intended for all ages. It contains little or no violence, no strong language, and little or no sexual dialogue or situations. We would like to remind our viewers that the views expressed in this program by our participating guests are solely viewpoints of them who take part and does not reflect the views and beliefs of the Verena Media Network. Welcome down to another episode of Gen X YZ right here on Other Derina 24. Well, today we're going to talk about an absolutely important topic. This is a very taboo subject as well, and this is with child abuse. We need to actually talk about this because it is a concerning situation in Sri Lanka right now. And that is exactly why we've got Dr. Ashok to talk about all of this. So let's go on right down and have a little chat with him. Hello, Dr. Ashok. Hello, nice Karishi. meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Um, thank you so much for doing this with us, of course. And uh, we're here to talk about something very important. And thanks a lot for inviting me. Anytime, well. anytime. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Yeah, yeah. Now, I want to dive right into it, of course, and have a little conversation with you with yes. regards to what is actually happening right now in Sri Lanka. Well, child abuse is something that is spiked through in terms of the polls. Yeah. I want to really understand what are the statistics right now on the latest base? Obviously, uh, why do we have to talk about this again and again, uh, mm -hmm. Kureshi? Because this has been happening, you know, years and years. Exactly. Right? Yes. Which means uh, 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 we have experienced such mm. cases and we have uh, got to know about reported as right. well as unreported cases. Right. So statistically, it's it's really mm. hard to say. Yes. Uh, you know what what the number is at the moment, but. But, but uh, you know, when it comes to uh, Child Protection Authority and, you mm -hmm. know, certain other areas, yeah. so we get to know that there are many cases as such, right? right? Um, but before moving on to your question, mm -hmm. so I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to talk about something special. Okay. Now, Kureji, uh, each of us mm -hmm. uh, has a child. Right. right, that's a psychological theory <laughs> that is okay. called transactional analysis. Right, right, which means now, Kureshi, you are an adult, mm. right? So, there is a child in you, yes. So, yes. I have a child in you, right? So, basically, that child mm. uh, has yeah. lots of memories, right. the child in you has lots of memories mm -hmm. which could be positive, which right. could be negative, right. which could be mixed. Mm. Don't know, yeah, right. Yeah. If the child in you is balanced, yes. Right? I repeat it. Mm -hmm. If the child you child in you is balanced and right. properly psychologically balanced, mm -hmm. that has a huge impact on your current personality. Right. Sometimes we say that, you know, as an adult, right, you just behave as a kid. Mm. You just behave as a child. Right. Because so that that childhood experience could could sometimes you know pop out mm. and that has that could have a huge impact on your personality. Right. Right? So I would like to uh, take this example. I remember one of these uh, persons who recently actually committed suicide, un un unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, a long time before, somehow I met him, right? During his uh, childhood, actually, he had been abused. Oh, right. Since then, actually, I don't know how, why, he just wanted to talk to me. Right. Okay. At that time, a long right. time before. Right. I just, I just knew that, you know, he committed suicide two or three years before. Mm. but. Uh, he had been abused a long time before and since then right. I realized that his personality got changed right right okay and 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 he even even here there after actually I saw some kind of you know passiveness in his personality okay right, right. and later on I got to know that he got depressed and he committed suicide wow. so basically whatever happens in the childhood is really mm -hmm. important and right. that is a determinant right in current personality mm -hmm. so suppose that even abuse has taken place right. in uh, during childhood definitely there can be lots of negative repercussions right now according to statistics mm -hmm. it is said that 60 percent of 60 percent of right. those who have been abused during mm -hmm. their childhood right. will show lots of difficulties when they become adults mm. yeah. Right. yeah so in that sense the child in you is so important as parents the manner in which we bring up our children is so mm. important and how to ensure that how to we have to make sure that their psychological world is properly addressed and properly balanced right right 
That's it. Mm. Yeah, that is amazing. But yes. I actually want to ask you specifically, yeah. what are the stats right now? Hmm. What are the current stats? Because obviously the stats vary accordingly. So right now, what are the stats of these abuses taking place in Sri Lanka? Yeah, that is what I that is what I told you, Kureshi. Now, stats it's 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 always changing. Mm. Like right. you know, uh, uh, exactly we don't know what the current stats is in 20, 2023. Right. Exactly, right. we don't right. know. Right. Right. Can we, you give us a rough estimate as to what is right now the mm, stats? Uh, once again, I I, I don't wish to. To say I don't right. wish to say right. I don't like right. to say yeah. because yeah. because uh, if, since we have not come to a conclusion mm. right still it's it's not it's always changing right since it's always changing right uh, we we cannot you know generalize and we cannot say this mm -hmm. is the statistics that we can come up with right but but we still know and mm -hmm. even even when it comes to uh, these discussions uh, Kureshi I I never talk about uh, uh, statistics because I know as a professional there are cases yeah even yeah. a single case yeah. matters a lot yeah. even a single case i mean because it's a it's a it's a life of another person right we have to take the responsibility yes. it doesn't matter yeah. what the number is as yeah. long as the repercussions are really uh, negative Exactly. Now, I want to obviously ask you with regards to the current strike in Sri Lanka. There's mm. a massive pull when it comes to, you know, child abuses, child harassment as yes, well. Yes. Yes. Why is this amazingly terrible-looking, you know, spike in the polls of these cases happening right now, as of in Sri Lanka? Uh, actually, Why suddenly? Yeah, uh, there is no sudden case as such. Right. Like I said, at, at, like I, like I mentioned at the very beginning, mm. this has been happening, you know, for a long time, for a yes, long period yes, of time. Yeah. Right. So we've been addressing this issue right. as well. Right. Okay. So this is not a you know, uh, pop-up hmm. situation and, and still things are happening right. and, and things are reported as well as certain cases are, are not, not reported. reported. Yes, exactly. Right? Yeah, so yeah. Certain cases are reported and certain cases hmm. are not reported. So the thing is like, uh, I always, I always uh, uh, point my finger right. at parents, right? Don't, don't uh, blame me, but I have to, you know, point my finger at them because they should be responsible they are the ones who should be responsible mm. because uh, children are children right now right. when it comes to child abuse mm. now in sri lanka right. uh, any sexual activity that happens to underage like you know uh, below 16 mm. with or without consent right yeah. okay with or without consent is considered child abuse mm. with or without consent now right. even with the consent Hmm. So that tells you something about the psychological development of the child. Yes. Right. Now, following that question, of course, I want to just uh, disturb <coughs> you a little bit hmm. there because, yeah. you know, a lot of children, especially when you say that as well, we don't necessarily know how hmm. to report a particular abuse. Yes. Right. Yes. So can you give us the categories of certain abuses that actually take place, especially in Sri Lanka, and if they want to report it as well to the authorities of Sri Lanka? Yeah. Child, child rape is one particular thing, right. which means that there has to be kind of uh, 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 sexual penetration right there right. is sexual pen right. penetration that is child mm -hmm. rape right so child abuse in the sense will say now even even sexual kissing mm. right right even sexual kissing right done by an adult mm. right uh, sexual rubbing right and to do to force to do something mm. and show in certain pornographies right all those things come under mm. sexual abuse Mm. On the other hand, there can be certain other things like, you know, uh, uh, grave sexual abuse, which means that those things which, which cannot be categorized under child rape. Right. 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 All the other things can be categorized under right. uh, grave sexual abuse. Mm. All these things are happening by and large. So we cannot say this is happening a lot and this is not and this is, uh, this is what we can see in most cases and not. But by and large, we can right. see all those things. The thing is, children... Like I said, uh, children are not properly able to express hmm. what they feel, right. right? As adults, we have a lot of words, hmm. right? We can express, right? That's why I say under 16, any sexual activity happens to uh, them with or without consent, which means we can have some sort of, you know, idea about their psychological maturity. They don't know how to express it. Recently, I, I heard about this case. There was this eight-year-old girl actually who has been raped by uh, a person actually, uh, grandfather, his grand, her grandfather, okay. and uh, uh, she did not know, hmm. right? She did not. She she would have thought that you know it was a, it was a, it was a normal incident. It was right. a normal case, yeah. right? And then when she was questioned only, then just you know 
Right. She mentioned about yeah, the case yeah. because she did not know hmm. what was going on, yeah. right? And and that is why their vocabulary is limited, right? They don't know how to explain. Right. And as a result of that, we don't know. That's why I say hmm. parents should keep an eye on them, and you have to understand what they feel and yeah. how they perceive and what they express, hmm. even through paintings. Right. We have we have uh, seen lot of lot of paintings, hmm. yes. right? Okay, so on those paintings, we have seen there is a hidden story behind. What they could not express through words, hmm. what they could not express through their, we'll say, uh, sentences, they, they have expressed it on through the art. Yes, through arts. That's amazing. That yeah. is that is how they express it. Hmm. And of course, I I doubt uh, Kureishi whether current parents do have time even to. Uh, Look at those, you know, the paintings and yeah. interpret those paintings. Yeah, true. Right, what they try to say. That exactly. is particularly, that is that is yeah. indeed an issue. Yeah. Yeah. So that is why I say, children are children. We don't know what they are undergoing. Recently, there is another case. Uh, one or two weeks before, actually, I got to know about this particular incident from one of my friends, and she had uh, gone to a particular place to take her child. Right, and there was another child hmm. in the preschool, and she was screaming. Hmm. She started screaming, like she said, "No, I can't go." Right, right. <laughs> there was a guy with a vehicle, okay. and said that you know he was sent by the child's mother. Okay, right. That 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 that, that guy was not uh, a father. Right. right, right. So she that he was a relative or something like right. that. So anyway, the girl. Did not for she was reluctant to get into the right, car. Right. Now it could be something normal. Yes. Right. Yes. But yeah. But is the most dangerous word in English. Yeah. Right. But yeah. There could be something behind. Hmm. She does. She does not want to get into car. Right. That is what she knows. Yeah. Which means there has to be something. There could be something. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Yeah. But ultimately, she had to. Get into car, and as even as a psychologist, I got shocked. Wow. After I got to know about it, I just I I I got into her shoes, and I thought, my goodness, uh, what would what would she feel? exactly honestly what would that she would feel? be yeah. What would she feel? Mm. And like I said, the child will yeah. become an adult, yeah. and if she has mm. bitter experience. That has a huge impact on the future as well. Exactly. Definitely. Now, Definitely. talking about that, of course, I want to really understand what are the measures that the preventative measures that they have to actually take as parents in order to protect their child. Because I have something, you know, because your parents are not really there all the time, mm -hmm. right? If you send them to school, those particular times of the hours of the day, mm -hmm. you can't watch over them. Mm -hmm. So, what are these preventative measures that parents have to actually take in order to protect their children? Yes, statistics. Uh, Tells us that uh, most of these in the abuse and harassments take mm -hmm. place in the immediate family. Wow. Yes, I agree with that. Yes. Right? Can you give us a little bit more context? Imme yeah, immediate, it? immediate, which means some someone you know who is close mm. to the family. Right. Maybe right. relatives. Right. So which means there has to be there is a problem with the focus of the parents. That's why I've been talking through this in you know, the program. Parents, 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 yeah. and. The, the parents who listen to us and watch us would say, yeah. "We don't have time," but that is not an excuse. Yeah, that is not an excuse, right? Now, s since you asked about that question, if the child, mm -hmm. okay, uh, goes out of uh, uh, the family and the child has to go to school and you know many other places, right. and abuse could take place in such places, that is why the sex education is a must. Mm. Yes. Yes. Which is. Something that we are not going to talk, yeah. Yeah. right? Even people oppose. Hmm. Right? You don't have to use those technical terms all the time. Yeah, all the time, right? I remember one of this fellow, right, outside the camera. Even when I was, when we were seated over there, I just mentioned uh, a, 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 a person called. He's he's a comedian, hmm. Lasanth, right? right. He's a bit famous now. Now he is having this, you know, the puppet shows. Right. In in each and every school, preschool and everything, mm -hmm. and it shows and and he teaches what 
good touch and what bad touch is. Yes, yes, yeah. Right. What good touch and what bad touch is yes. through puppetries. Through Muppets. Now talking about that, I want to sort of give I want you to give me a bit more context because yes. especially parents watching now right yeah. now as well. They don't really understand the concept of what a good touch and a bad touch is. Because all of these things could actually, you know, sort of be very jokingly, especially mm. when it comes from your own internal family. Mm. So can you give me a bit more context on that as to what is a good and a bad touch? No, you know, it's 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 not that difficult. It's mm -hmm. not rocket science. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's not rocket science. Even as parents, we don't know as a parent, mm -hmm. right? I have a child also, yeah. right? I have a daughter, and and I have already taught. I haven't used you know these technical terms that I'm using in X Y Z, right? <laughs> right? Okay, just okay. just okay. If someone touches this, mm -hmm. if someone is kissing like this, don't allow, scream, right? Just scream, right. don't do it. But how do you identify that this is wrong? Ah, oh, right. Because especially being a child as well, how do you know? Okay, this is wrong. Yes. Especially when it's your uncle, when it's your someone from your own family now, how would you know it? yes now if if there is an observer there is no issue at all you yes, can understand exactly you can understand even i have noticed mm. when you know people when relatives come and you know kiss you know i just notice right. as a parent right not as a psychologist yeah as a parent <laughs> yes. right i notice i try to see whether it's I can see as, mm. I mean, when you're observing, you can see. But the child, of course, you know, he does not understand. Yes. She does not understand whether this is good or bad, mm. right? I mean, through the intention, you can't exactly see the intention, yes. what the intention yes. is. But obviously, to certain extent, you can minimize, mm. okay? You can even kiss. But right. if you, if the kiss is going beyond so-called limits. The extreme, extremes, rather, of uncomfortable. Extremes, yes. okay, these, yes. are the, these are the areas that... You need Others to can touch, yes. and these are the areas that you have to protect. Yes, yes. Right? You can easily say, yeah. right? Even I have seen a teacher, the teacher uh, draws the hmm. picture of the child, right. say, okay, child, children, so these are the areas that you, that others should not, right? Okay, touch, and this is yours. Yes. The body is yours. Yeah. This is yours. Hmm. Right? No one can touch it. Yeah. Right? Except your parents, but. There are extremes as well. I'm not going that, to talk okay, about that. Okay, let's not go yeah. there. You know right. what? We'll come back, of course, with Dr. Ashok right here in conversation with the absolutely important conversation. And this is considered to be taboo, but it's a conversation we must have. And of course, provoke every parent as well to be careful of their own children. And this is, of course, Gen XYZ joining in with me. I'm Akil Qureshi. And let's go right back into a short commercial break. Welcome down to Gen X YZ right here on Other There No 24. We're in conversation with Dr. Ashok Priyadarshan, of course, and this is a very, very important conversation with regards to child abuse. Now, Doctor, I've obviously got to ask you, we were talking about child abuse when it mm -hmm. comes to the important role that a parent plays, yes. right? So why is it important that a parent's behavior also instinctuates what a child is actually going to be in the future as well? It's, it's, it's a very good question, actually. Thanks a lot mm -hmm. for you know, raising that question. It's something that we don't talk uh, right. often. But recently, I uh, got to know about this case. Actually, uh, there was a there was a mother who came with the child, and 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 she said that you know uh, she'd been uh, raped by uh, a father. For the father, in sense, oh. he, he was not his actually. He was not her biological father. Right. right? The mother got divorced, and then he she right. got married right. to another person. And 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 uh, so uh, apparently, this little girl said. Uh, she'd been raped by this particular fellow, mm -hmm. right? And when I was asking, I mean, when I was giving you know, questions, when I was questioning her, questioning in the sense, not rough questions, right? right. Okay. Uh, there is another thing that we have to take mm. into account. You don't suggest things when, when, when question. Right. When you question, especially uh, small kids mm -hmm. in relation to abuse and everything, right. you, don't, you don't suggest. You just have kind of, you know, casual type of you know, discussion. And then I had this, you know, the casual type of discussion with her mm -hmm. and I realized that she had witnessed uh, sexual intercourse uh, to a naked eyes. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And how 
the parents behave together mm. and then somehow uh, she had you know she had made it kind of you know generalized right right okay and apparently when she wanted to she when she wanted the attention of mm. course she when she wanted attention she said that you know this so this sort of things had happened and she underwent a biological test right and where she found that when it was found that you know she was not raped actually right. i don't know right. we could right. not you know continue the case and actually it was taken by another professional right uh, she would have been you know abused mm. perhaps not raped should have been abused right. so such babies are quite problematic mm. yeah. on the other hand uh, now we have to talk about victims and also the perpetrators yes and yeah. we have this you know the notion that you yeah. know victims become perpetrators in the future mm. it's it's you cannot exactly you know generalize it but there is a notion right you have evidence either side mm. right you can't generalize right. but uh, perpetrators perpetrators of course you know we 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 just uh, generate perpetrators through a relationship to you know through our communication as right. parents right now you have seen there are abusive families like uh, husband uh, beat beats the wife and so talking about that as well mm. because especially i feel like this the sri lankan community does not understand mm. whatever you mimic as parents if you fight with your with your spouse mm. that reflects and if your child is there in the present as well they will definitely take that as some kind of trauma right or they will actually take that in as they actually proceed through yes why is it why is it important that parents whatever they do they have to do it excluding the child exactly there is this concept called mm-hmm. observational learning psychology right. which was brought forth by albert bandura technically okay. speaking okay. i don't like <laughs> to come up with technical terms right. i don't wish to come up with technical <laughs> terms since i wanted to so i just said right observational learning mm. which means that as if 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 uh, there is a boy of course you know the boy is learning through the father's behavior yes girl child learning through the mother's mother yes, yeah yeah so that's how it's it happens now if something happens mm. like this in front of the child right. right so the child would generalize it now we have talked to you know certain perpetrators mm. obviously and if you read their history you can right. say that you know they are they have they have come up come come through this you know the broken families mm. they have seen these things happening right. in their families right. that is why it is so important how you behave as parent in in front of your children because they they just notice mm. they just observe right. they don't talk much but they have this you know the subtle eyes right they have this subtle observation mm. and they know they 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 observe what you are doing as parents they do yes, yes of course they internalize yes and later on mm. later on these perpetrators yeah. right yeah. so this the, the, the child in you if the child in you has seen observed these sort of things mm. during the childhood yeah. things will be you know popped up when they become adults, adults exactly right and yeah. they see that okay this is how we treat mm. girls the girls should be like this yeah right and you should be under my thumb that sort of in a generalization yeah. even yeah. yesterday i talked to one of my psychologist and she said the same right mm. some some something that okay girls are girls are there Yeah. uh for us to be you know for us to be beat, beat beat like this and wow. treat like this wow. yeah is yeah. the way you should a psychologist psychologist wow. that's yeah. what she said okay yeah. so so that sort of you know uh, results mm. consequences we can expect yeah. when there is a problem in these conversations and communication especially that is why we strongly say as parents when you are communicate together when you deal together you have to be very very concerned and you have to be very careful uh, about your kids as well how exactly. they look and how they observe and everything now you talked about uh, your fellow psychologists as well right mm-hmm. people that you actually work with some of the psychologists speaking through experience as well they lack the tendency of having a personal touch with the therapy that they actually provide yes. right So in Sri Lanka we are actually lacking a massive amount of you know psychologists that are actually qualified just like yourself as mm. well you know quite a bit of support we mm. lack that as a, as Sri Lanka mm. internationally if you're if you're actually a victim of child abuse mm. there's a lot of preventative states there's a lot of um concussion that they can actually fall back to as well mm. okay why is Sri Lanka still not developed from that end so that is applicable to each and every thing mm. in in Sri Lanka Gurishi right each and everything 
now i think that is called emotional intelligence right there is right. something right. called emotional intelligence mm. we always talk about intelligence but we hardly talk about emotional intelligence emotional intelligence in the sense you understand what the other person feels right how the other person sees things mm. if i if i'm not able to understand what you feel and what your situation is then how can i help you even when it comes to doctors mm. when 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 doctors treat their pay, you know the the, the patients mm. right the doctors should be aware that you know they feel the pain yeah, as well yeah. right i mean they don't they don't they don't feel pain physically mm. as doctors but they have some sort of understanding idea right. that is called emotional intelligence right when it comes to psychologist mm -hmm. the things are strongly applicable should be applied basically you have to get on to the shoes of the other person right you have to understand the other person's phenomenological world otherwise what we do as parents or adults we keep advising hmm. advising 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 that is what we do hmm. before you advise you have to go you have to go into the person's world that is called conceptual world kureshi you have a conceptual world right. you have different concepts right so to understand who you are hmm. right your psychological world i i can't just sit here and i can't just give advices i have to get on to your shoes and then i have to understand the things are also applicable when it comes to kids also children yeah. now as parents you can't just give i like you know advices and everything you have to get on to the shoes and you have to see how the child sees the world now you said about this whole shoe example right mm. we had a conversation off of the screen and you said that when you actually tied the shoelace of your daughter is when your daughter actually saw or you saw the level that your daughter was seeing can you give me a bit more of that story background as well and connect that with yeah, what you're saying i was i was just mention and <laughs> then you just yeah okay yeah. now of course when you tie the shoelaces of your kid of course mm. you have to bend you down with your yes. self doubt yeah. right then only you can see <laughs> in which level the child could see yes right now of course you know you are taller than the child of course you know you see lots of things and you know lots of rocket science and everything exactly. many things <laughs> but the child does not it doesn't know yeah. he, the child is pristine spotless mm. and you know yeah. they don't have anything in their hearts except love yes they trust. <laughs> yeah. trust 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 yeah. they trust when someone gets closer to him right they trust hmm. that happens right okay so as parents like you tie uh the shoe lace, shoe lace yes. of the child yeah. you have to bend your self psychological self to their to, level to their exactly. level to understand how they feel there and how go. they perceive the world exactly there you <laughs> go amazing now obviously i have to obviously ask you a very another important question as well and this is with regards to you know when it comes to preventative measures in sri lanka mm -hmm. right uh we sort of lack that a lot when it comes to even parents they're not really fully aware of what they can actually help their child with Mm -hmm. you know especially when they come to their child and they're like or oh, the child comes to the parents and say i am a victim of this this happened to me what can the parent do besides advice or besides take you know sort of uh, reported measures what can they do it's a to very, help the child yeah, it's a very good question mm -hmm. actually one of the best questions that i have better questions that i have right. uh, again actually yeah. thanks lot krishi no <laughs> right and 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 th that question of course in sri lanka mm. okay Uh, what happens is that you are just going after the uh, the one who solution. has exactly. the one who has done the crime yes 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 or the abuse yes perpetrator right and you forget the victim the actual victim exactly yes you forget the victim and there is a probability that the victim can become a perpetrator in the future as well mm. unless you make sure that he is safe and you haven't done anything wrong i repeat it child you haven't done anything wrong yes you are in safe hands you have to ensure you have to ensure that you are in safe hands right okay no problem at all and nothing you can move on no issue at all you have to you have to convince the child that fact first in most cases what happened in sri lanka you just accuse the child you accuse the child yes exactly you will leave the child behind yeah. yeah that's what happens isn't it the case it is fresh yeah that's what happens now we forget what should be done as parents as adults right we just go after the victim in most yeah. cases you forget
Yes, and and you don't you don't take the child into the society mm. then. You just hide the child. Yeah. Right? You keep the child behind the curtain. Mm. You don't take the child to the front, to the fore. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. That is the mentality. If it is so, child has this in you know, the passive personality. Mm. This has happened to me and my life is over. If that sort of mindset mentality is developed right. in a child's mind, I want to follow that question up as well because you mentioned the fact that you know um, children that are actually victims of such abuses, mm. they turn out and grow up to be abusers themselves, mm. right? So is this really true? Is it actually true? Do they become perpetrators? Do they actually become predators? If we put it that way, you cannot generalize it. Right. You cannot generalize it. There is a notion, right? right. Once again, there is a notion. As I mentioned, 60 percent of those who have been abused, mm. right, can show certain difficulties when they become adults, right. but forty percent. Mm. 40% will, will become you know, recovered. How it happens? Right. How it happens? 40% become, will become, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah they yeah. will be recovered. How it happens? Through this, this, these kinds of in interventions. Hmm. Ensure that, you know, you are safe. Okay, no problem. Things have already happened. Hmm. Okay. You don't give that much value to it. Right. Just allow the child to move on. Once again, human touch. Hmm. Yes. If it is there, right? you can increase the number. There you go, fantastic. Thank you so <laughs> much, Dr. Akshur. And with that, of course, we're gonna be right back on Gen X YZ right here only on Other Theranet 24. And next, we're gonna have a conversation with Dr. Ashok on the importance of cyber sexual abuse as well. Right there, of course, but just after a short commercial break. Welcome down to Gen X YZ. We're in conversation with Dr. Ashok Priyadarshan, of course, on a very, very beautiful place. It's an absolutely brilliant place as well. Aesthetic is great as well. So this is, of course, the Full Moon Hotel located at Nigambur. So head on down right now, of course, if you want to be a part and witness the amazing enthusiasm, of course, and the aesthetic you can get from this place. But with that, we are in conversation with Dr. Ashok. Um, now, I obviously have to ask you a very important, important question, and this is with regards to um, the influence of media. Uh -huh. Right, we're in yes. media as well, and yep. media is, plays a massive role when it comes to influence. Yep. Um, a lot of the individuals, especially when we consider people from Gampa, people from Colombo, people from around the world, mm -hmm. are very much influenced by media. Mm -hmm. We have tendencies of certain individuals when it comes to you know seeing music videos that are so sexualized as well. Mm -hmm. We have certain things, you know, movies very sexualized, mm -hmm. and all of these things sort of ignite sort of an erotica or a sense of that. What is your take on that? Like, is, is this something that we need to change? Is this something that is actually good? Or how can you cope from it? Media, of course, you know, uh, if, you, if you refer to uh, mm -hmm. uh, research, of course, you can right. see, you know, how media mm -hmm. can have a huge impact yes. on one's personality, yes. Yes. right? And we know that, you know, uh, attitudes can even be mm. changed right. through media, yes. right? Even your desires and interest and mm. everything. All right, I don't come up with, uh, we say, <laughs> theories and etc. Yes, there yes. are a number of theories, so <laughs> yeah. I don't I have to come up with all those things. Right? When it comes to media, since we uh, focused on, uh, we'll say, uh, child abuse, mm -hmm. especially. Right. Now, uh, we talk about uh, sexual deviant tendencies, deviant behaviors, mm -hmm. like uh, pedophilia. Pedophilic, right. pedophilic uh, persons, pedophilic individuals. Mm. We've been dealing with you know, pedophilic individuals, which means certain adults, mm. they have certain sexual fantasies, mm. sexual urges and motives towards children. Right? They have. So, I have seen and we have in a way actually uh, done a kind of a survey, small survey, okay. a casual survey to see how media can have an impact on that. Right. Basically, now you know that there are lots of child-related programs, right? There are pros and cons, hmm. right? There was a time, I don't know now whether it is being still done. Now, you make the child a kind of a sexual object even without your awareness or not. Right. 
right? The way the child is dressed and everything, the way the way the child is taken to the stage mm -hmm. and everything. Now I remember there was a there with this you know the six year old girl child uh, was raped and killed. I I don't I can't exam exactly remember the uh, country and she was um, she was a contestant in a particular pageant mm -hmm. and she won the first place and she got this high fame and, and popularity and everything and the manner in which she you know uh, the, was mm. dressed and etc and she appeared as an adult even though she was somewhere around 8 or 9 and she appeared as an adult 8 or 9? Yes! As an adult? A yeah, okay. appeared and as an right, adult right. Right? The, way, the manner in which she was dressed and etc okay. with the fame that she got mm. right even I wrote an article on that as well you know couple of years ago mm. mentioning this Parents, you take your children to the media and you have to be aware of this fact, right? It's okay to bring the kids talents onto the stage and make the child, you know, popular. Right? That's okay. No problem at all. But you have to be very careful what you are giving to the child, you know, how the way you dress the child and how you take the child. Child mm. is a child, not an adult. Yes. Right? Yeah. But you can, you can change the child's appearance. Mm. Now even the singing and the songs and the gestures and voices and and you know others others me I mean you have to do it. Me right. I mean media can manipulate you, hmm. right? right? Media is asking you to perform like that. Now when it is happening, these pedophilic individuals, those who have this you know the pedophilic tendencies, can be stimulated, are stimulated. Their, their, their tenders, their fantasies can be enhanced. That is a problem, right? Even actually we inform about this a long time before. I think the tendency seems to be on it the is, lower side yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. That is what, you know, media can do hmm. to you. On the other hand, when it comes to abuse and right, right. certain other things. Okay. Straying away from that, of course, now you mentioned the fact that you've actually met certain individuals who've come with the tendencies of having attractions towards, you know, pedophilic aspects of things, mm -hmm. meaning like attraction towards kids, mm -hmm. little girls, little yes. boys. Um, how do you sort of cope with it? What is the first thing that you actually do in order to, you know, cure them from it? Actually, uh, there is no particular, uh, there is no one particular treatment for right, them, right. right? But it's good that they have some sort of understanding that, okay, I have these sorts of Mm. fantasies, urges and etc. Right. But in most cases, they are not aware of the fact that they have these tendencies mm. until they victimize someone. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. They victimize someone. So that is their uh, urge, mm. right? They can't help sometimes. That is their urge mm. and they act it out. Right. On the other hand, we have seen certain individuals with certain fantasies, pedophilic tendencies. They know that they have this mm tendencies, impulses, when they get to know about that, right. they can easily stay away from it and gradually through uh, therapies, through treatments, through discussions, we can, be, there are lots of therapies. There is, yes. There are, yes, right? Yes, yes. And 100% we can make sure that, you know, it can be sorted out. Right. With the, with the, we'll say, with the consent of the individual, with the mm. consent of the person who is having these pedophilic right. tendencies. Right. Right, so it can be sorted out. Mm. On the other hand, as uh, as professionals, if you are going to judge them once again, it's they, problematic. Of that's, course, that is problem because they come to you with a problem. Mm. They want to, you know, get a solution. For yeah, it. yeah. They and want it's up to, to you to not judge them and actually help them. Out. Obviously, and I feel like that is a problem we have in Sri Lanka as well because we don't necessarily have that connection with a therapist and a victim. Uh, the other thing is, Gaurishi. Now, when 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 these impulses keep mm. coming to you, sometimes you can't help. Yeah, you don't yeah. know where these where these impulses mm. are coming from. Right. You don't know. You have you have no idea. Then that is why they come to us and ask mm. our help. I want to follow up with that in a question, of course. Now, I feel mm. like um, a lot of individuals, they're afraid to come up and actually ask or seek help mm. is because of the conservativeness that Sri Lanka is in, right? We very much look down on people that actually have tendencies, yes. but we have to understand it is a natural thing. The yes. fact that we do, certain people have different, different tendencies yes. when it comes to the sexual aspect of things. Yes. How can they actually bear the concept of, you know what, getting courage and coming to a therapist and actually having a conversation or seeking help for that matter? Actually, now, of course, you know, 
uh, we can be satisfied to certain extent. Now mm. people have come front and also they come for sessions. Right. It's a very good thing. Mm. Right. Uh, but there are still stereotypes. Yes. Yes, yeah. I am attached to you know, different universities, you know, I work with certain students as well. I know students don't wish to come. Some, some individuals don't wish to come and, and present their problem. Because they think that, uh, they, 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 they just perceive that, you know, other would, you know, label me. Yes. yes. Other would label me. I would be kind of, you know, lunatic, so-called mm. lunatic. Yes. Right? I am psychologically out. Mm. I am out of mind. That sort of, you know, mentality, that is still there. Right. That is still there. That is why in rural areas and in not even in rural, in urban areas as well, hmm. right? They don't come to sessions because they think that, right? It's it's okay to say that you have physical problem, but they think that it's not okay to have say that you know you have psychological problem. Mental problem. problem. Exactly. Yes. You don't yes, go. yes. That is the stereotype. Hmm. That is the stereotype, and that is what we are trying to break. Can I ask you, what are the measures you're taking in order to break that stereotypical thing or the mindset of, hey, you know what, it's, it's not considered to be normal? What are you, what are you doing This personally? is one of the approaches. That you're doing. <laughs> Fantastic, <laughs> amazing. But, you know, I also want to ask the culture of people actually yes. watching right now as well. Yes. What can they do to actually, you know, make a change when it comes to breaking that stereotype? Yes, now, of course, you know, we can't go door to door, of course. Yes. We can't go door to door whenever we are asked to talk about this. And also, we just... Yeah. The first thing, mm. Kureshi, we don't come up with lots of, you know, technical jargons. Right. Technical terms. Yes. Right. Okay. That, that could be really problematic. Well, exactly. Try to be as simple as, as possible. possible. Yes. Right. Yes. And that is the most important thing. Right. And uh, when we are addressing mm. individuals as well, and I personally, I try to make sure that I address each and every individual here. Yes. <laughs> Right? I can definitely tell you're doing okay. a good job. I try to address each and individual here. I know mm -hmm. that they are undergoing, you know, different, different, different difficulties yes. and they yes. don't come up. They, of course, I try to, um, we'll say, uh, generalize. It's okay. Hmm. It's okay to feel. It's okay. Right. If you have something, just come. We are here. Hmm. Come. We'll yes. talk. We'll have a chat. First, human touch. First. There you go. Right? <laughs> and then, when they understand that, okay, right, uh, we can go, I can have a chat, which means that uh, I'm not the only person who's mm. having this issue. There are others. They will be present. There you go. Yes. Amazing. Absolutely brilliant. And yes. I feel like that is the mentality that Sri Lanka needs to adapt into as well. Yes. But now, I also want to talk to you about another concerning situation when it comes to, you know, child abuse, right? There is something called voluntary child abuse as well, right? That is where basically, for example, a lot of teenagers, mm. they trust someone. Because when you're a child, you trust. That is the main thing that you do. Mm. You trust someone and you love them. And then you s tend to sort of share certain private images, yes. right? And then these individuals, they, their mentality is different. So what they do is they take these private images and threaten you. Mm. So they ask you to do certain things and you end up doing it. Mm. Or in many cases, they end up you know, committing suicide. So these are very concerning sensitive yes. topics, yes. right? So what is the main thing that, in your opinion, that we can actually do to prevent any of these things taking place? I, I, think, I think you are basically focusing on uh, adolescents. I suppose. Not Teenagers. necessarily adolescents, because we have a lot of, you know, leakage of mm -hmm. like if you take nude images, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You trust someone and you give it, mm -hmm. but then they threaten you mm -hmm. in order to actually abuse you or mm -hmm. whatnot in order mm -hmm. for you to actually not undergo the shame mm -hmm. that the culture is going to put on you, mm -hmm. right? So you mm -hmm. would actually go voluntarily mm -hmm. to witness that abuse in mm -hmm. order to prevent the shame that's going to come with the culture. Mm -hmm. So what is your take on that? Uh, actually, uh, once again, you know, it's really hard to give uh, one single answer mm. to that. Yes. Okay, because, you know, uh, cases could be different from one to another, yes. right? And, and that's why it's really hard to uh, generalize uh, certain things like that. But, you know, since since I have come across lots of, you know, teenagers, of course, right. you know, I can right. st especially focus on them and then we'll, we'll move, on, move on to the rest. And they, of course... Uh, Especially these these cases are strongly reported from teenagers, hmm. adolescents, right? Because uh, they seek the approval of peers in most cases rather than their adults. Right. Right. That is called, you know, the adolescence is a period where they think that they are rebels. 
right right that's called the rebelling stage mm. of life yes right the rebelling stage of life and and they try to uh, seek a lot of uh, we'll say uh, new things innovations and new experience and etc it's there and and as a result of that um, uh, uh, since they expect this you know the peer evaluation peer uh, uh, things like you know uh, uh, rather than parents rather than adults they easily trust others hmm. on the other hand this is the stage where their sexual you know uh, kind of tendencies all activate rather activate, yes, yes, activate. Yes, yes and they want to act it out they want to you know experiment hmm. right? right and 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 since that comes up you don't you are not concerned about the values and etc yes no yes, values yes, at yes, all yes. and or copy kale kata yeah. right right when it comes to you know <laughs> yeah, and etc yeah. right they don't know mm -hmm. much about this and you are living in an, uh, you lived in a, uh, another generation and right, from right. A, uh, another generation right. right we are in this you know the so called digital world yes, yes. and we have that right but finally they trust the person and they have this you know the open open kind of you know sexual uh, uh, tendencies and they just share these images and etc right finally when things are getting worse mm. and they come to us yeah yeah right then only uh, they realize that you know they become they have been the victims right right they have been they have been victims right now when you trust an individual it's mm. up to you to think about the measures it's up to you to think about the measures hmm. right so we can't say how you can understand the other person how you can trust the other person hmm. no it's your common sense yes yeah. right psychologically you can come up with a list that won't help hmm. yeah but common sense now when you when you love someone when you have a relationship with someone right there is this personal territory like you know your your territory your uh, personality should be prevent should, should be protected that should be kept in your mind yes when yes. someone is trying to take you know photos of you hmm. right right nude photos of you then there is a problem then there is a problem and you keep it with it and which means that there is an there is a hidden agenda hmm yes then the other person should know now now we have this two minds uh, uh, kureshi one is this emotional mind hmm. one is this yes. emotional mind the other one is intelligent or the uh, logical Com mind yes yes yeah right logical mind and emotional mind now you have to think whether you are working with the emotional mind or the logical, logical mind things, yeah if you are working with the logical mind that is not also good hmm. if you are working with the emotional mind that is not good either yeah yeah the combination of these two hmm. emotional as well as the, the logical, logical mind. mind that result in results in something called wise mind hmm interesting wow okay <laughs> you have to decide whether you are working with the wise mind or not not okay fantastic and finally of course i want to ask you very yes. importantly what do you have to tell us especially the youth that's watching right now as well that wants to make a contribution in preventing child abuse happening right now in sri lanka what do you have to tell them how can we as a community support in it be attentive pay attention hmm. child becomes an adult his childhood her childhood should be balanced to make his future to be balanced amazing be attentive <laughs> fantastic thank you so much doctor and with that of course we'll be right back with a different episode right here on gen x y z only on other than 24 and of course we have to thank this amazing location as well this is located right here in nigambo in the heart of nigambo and this is of course the moon garden hotel an absolutely brilliant place you've got to come and try out and with that i'm akul kureshi signing out this is of course only gen x y z